Hey, what are you doing here? I'm going to replace my Africel 3G SIM card. Why use a 3G SIM card when you have a 4G phone? Replace your 3G SIM card today for the real Africel 4G SIM and receive one gigabyte of internet data for free. Really? Yes, get one gigabyte for free just by replacing your SIM card at any Africel outlet. With no loss of contact, the cost of bundle from the 3G SIM card is the same for the 4G SIM. And guess what? With the 4G SIM card, you can also connect to the 3G network as well. This is so cool. I'll replace my 3G SIM card right away to the real 4G SIM and receive my very own one gigabyte for free. From AfriCell, it's always real and it's for free. Where AfriCell goes, oh, oh, no one has the speed to follow. You have ended uh, a week-long training for civil, joint civil military training. So how important is this and who are involved in this training? Um, the training is very, very important, uh, most especially for members of the Gambia Armed Forces. Um, in that it will um, equip our personnel and our officers with the requisite knowledge as to how to keep um, cordial mit um, civil military relations um, with, with our counterparts who are the civilians. And um, we have um, observed that um, over the past 22 years um, so many things had uh, not gone down well, especially with our civilian counterparts um, in terms of um, how we maintain the relationship. So with that said, um, it's imperative that the Gambia Armed Forces um, you know, in collaboration with our partners, um, such as the Center for Civil Military Relations of the United States Armed Forces, um, you know, they collaborated with us to organize this um, four-day training workshop or seminar for our officers. But um, from the Gambia Armed Forces, we have about 30 personnel, and then we have also invited um, so that it become more interactive um, other stakeholders in the in the whole equation um, from civil society groups. Uh, we have one up here, we have um, the Ombudsman, the Ministry of um, Justice, Interior, and um, some other, even the National Assembly members um, have been also in invited, um, the IEC, um, to take part in this um, very important um, um, exercise. We have also invited um, participants from the sister services, that's from the police, immigration, and the fire services, as, as well as the, the Office of the National Security Advisor so that it becomes that um, broad-based kind of institution. But for the, from the point of view of the Gambia Armed Forces, we are looking at it as like a training of trainers, in that we have brought in um, very, very seasoned and also um, officers who are at command positions, so that once um, the, the, the course is over, they will go back to impart this knowledge to their troops um, that are under their command, so that the information flows down to the last um, soldier, and um, so that we move on from where we, we, we stopped in building a, a closer relationship with our civilian um, counterparts, who we know are the, the reasons why we are putting on this uniform. They are the taxpayers, they are the ones um, who are kitting us, they are equipping us. So it's imperative that we keep um, a very, very good um, cordial relationship with, with them. Um, and, and also that um, it's no longer going to be business as usual. Um, we don't want to be seen as um, um, agents or, or, or agents for, for, for you know, committing atrocities and crimes against um, the very people we are, we are assigned to protect. Okay. For a very long time, people always said SWIG trainings also always stop at the, at the training grounds. So will this make a difference? Because we have seen, like you said, the relationship between the civilian and the security has not been wholehearted. What difference will this make? Um, this one, we are going to take it a step further um, because these kind of trainings don't come um, so often. The last time we had this training was in 2012, so it's over a decade. So, we, you know, taking cognizance of this um, reality, from here the Gambia Armed Forces will um, do an indoor, indoor assessment and also um, organize similar trainings, like um, it's like a training of trainers. So most of these officers you see here, um, with the requisite knowledge that they have, we will pull all these resources together so that we organize an indoor kind of um, civil military relations. Probably this time around we invite also um, the similar um, um, number from, from the civilian institutions to, to join us and as well as also um, some of our soldiers like we'll go into the battalions like Yundum Barracks, Farafenye, up to Base to, to impart this knowledge to, to our soldiers um, so that they, you know, it does not stop with only us like you said but the message will pass across to everyone to realize that um, it's not, it's not going to be business as usual however uh, it's now time to, to turn the tide and also, you know, break that communications gap, uh, which we realized even from the workshop and the seminar that um, there is that gap that needs to be filled. 
um, between us and, and our civilian counterparts. So, you know, from here, we are going back to the drawing board to devise a program, a training program for our soldiers who are in the battalions. Thank you. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm going to replace my Africel 3G SIM card. Why use a 3G SIM card when you have a 4G phone? Replace your 3G SIM card today for the real Africel 4G SIM and receive one gigabyte of internet data for free. Really? Yes, get one gigabyte for free just by replacing your SIM card at any Africel outlet. With no loss of contact, the cost of bundle from the 3G SIM card is the same for the 4G SIM. And guess what? With the 4G SIM card, you can also connect to the 3G network as well. This is so cool. I'll replace my 3G SIM card right away to the real 4G SIM and receive my very own one gigabyte for free. From AfriCell, it's always real and it's for free. Where AfriCell goes, oh, no one has the speed to follow.